Hello there and welcome to Empowering Moments with Velvet. This is Velvet and I am here today to participate in a wonderful one pot meal challenge that is hosted by the beautiful Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie and her co-host is Wani from Wani's House. Now what they've asked us to do is to just create a one pot meal using uh, crock pots, um, instapots, those things, or you can cook it on the stove or bake it in the oven. So what I've decided to do is, uh, because I am known in my family as the non-cooking cook, <laughs> and I love it, I absolutely love it because I can cook, however, I probably don't cook as much as some of you guys do. And uh, so what I've decided to do is make a very simple meal and it is called a sausage rigatoni dump dinner. The ingredients are, and I'm gonna put the uh, camera down so that you can see it a little bit better. So please excuse me, I'm gonna lower the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. And hopefully you'll get a better view. There it is. Okay, so now, the recipe calls for rigatoni. So I have my rigatoni noodles, or pasta, excuse me. It calls for Italian sausage. And if you have it in the case, take it out of the case. I just purchased this and it wasn't in the case. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. Garlic. Beef broth tomato paste, mozzarella cheese, and salt and pepper to taste. Oh, and I'm sorry, marinara sauce, marinara sauce. Okay, so I've already poured the marinara sauce in the bowl because what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix your marinara sauce, you're gonna mix your paste, your tomato paste, I'm going to mix that. You're going to use three cups, three cups of beef broth. Okay. And I've already washed the container off as I do everything I use. <laughs> uh, wash the containers off when you buy them, especially now. You just really want to make sure that uh, you're doing what you, you know, what you need to do to stay safe. So we're gonna do three cups of beef broth. Now I'm probably not going to make as much as actually the meal calls for, although I'm giving you, you know, the ingredients and I will put the ingredients in the uh, rest in the uh, description box. However, my, I may not make as much because my family is, is not big at all. So this is probably going to be too much, but I'm going to, you know, the sauce I can always use for something else. So that's three cups of the uh, beef broth. Hope you can see that. Okay. And we're just going to stir that together. And we're going to add garlic. Now, so for some of you that don't want garlic, don't add garlic, you know. Um, but I'm going to just add a little bit of garlic to taste. Just a little bit. Excuse me. Just a little bit of garlic. Okay. Now, what it says to do, I'm going to blend this together and then you can add your salt and pepper to taste. Add your salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to just kind of mix this up a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then, of course, um, because that marinara sauce and that beef broth actually has sodium in it, so... Okay, 
piece back. I try to, you know, stay pretty clean when I'm cooking, uh, just so that I can keep myself organized. You're gonna set your, you're gonna set your uh, oven to 425, which my my uh, buzzer has already gone off. So I'm just gonna mix this in. Now, what it calls for is for you to grease your pan and uh, with butter, and you do not have to cook the noodles. It tells you, in fact, the rigatoni, it tells you not to cook it. Now I'm used to cooking my noodles, so this is gonna be a little different for me, but we're gonna see how it works, okay? So you're going to, you know, pour this over. So now the recipe states that you are to kind of just pour it over and dollop it with the uh, ricotta cheese and the uh, meat, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow the recipe. So I'm just kind of mixing this just until it gets you know, mixed a little bit, as you can see. And I kind of want you to see that. And that's what it's gonna look like. I already know that's way too much for the dish that I'm using. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is it's, it's saying to go ahead and add the pasta, add some sausage, and you're just going to repeat this, okay? You're just going to repeat it. Just gonna repeat it. So I'm just laying that sausage in there. And I'm trying to make sure I, I do enough that it's kind of coated, but you know, it's going to kind of spread. And I'll show you once I finish. Okay, so I just kind of laid that that in there and I'll spread it I'll spread it down in a minute and then you're just gonna put dollops of the actual um, ricotta in there then you're just gonna put some dollops of ricotta in there. Spread that down a little bit just to make sure that we're gonna have meat throughout. We're gonna dollop it with some ricotta. Oh, that's gonna be good. I can already tell. Mm, 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 mm. And then we're gonna repeat. So we've gotten that in, and now we're gonna pour some sauce over it. And then we're going to repeat, and we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to put the we're going to put the uh, noodles. I got a feeling this is going to be pretty good. I'm just a little skeptical about not cooking my noodles, but you cooks out there, you probably know that this will work. <laughs> you know. And then we're just going to repeat the process. I'm going to lay the meat down again. get it all <laughs> I want to get it all
Then we're going to do the ricotta again. That's looking pretty good, you guys. That's looking pretty good. Man overboard. <laughs> Man overboard. Let's make sure we get it all in there. And then we're going to, we're going to go ahead and pour a little more of this sauce all over the game. And what I believe I'm going to have to do is probably put this put a pan up under this just in case because I have a feeling there's going to be some overflow. <laughs> now, we're not going to use the mozzarella until it's about um, 10 minutes from being done and then we're going to put the mozzarella on top, okay? So we're going to do a little cleanup while we're waiting and we're going to cover this. Excuse me. We are going to cover this with uh, aluminum foil. We're going to cover it with aluminum foil. I'm sorry, I like neatness. Neatness counts. Wasn't that how we were raised in school? Neatness counts. <laughs> and I'm going to put all of this stuff away. And I'm going to go ahead, look at that. That looks, let me just come a little closer so you can see that. Look at that. Wow. That looks absolutely, absolutely delicious already. Okay. Just clean up my little mess here. And I'm going to cover it with some aluminum foil. I am going to put it in the oven. Now what I'm going to do so that I can, you know, so that it won't actually drip everywhere, I'm going to put it in a larger pan so that the drippings can. So bear with me. Just for protection, I'm going to add it to this pan because I have a feeling it's going to bubble over. So we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to let it cook for 35, 40 minutes. And then we're going to come back the next five, 10 minutes and put the uh, cheese on there. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. So that's going to be in the oven for about 35 40 minutes, I'm going to come back and we're going to see what it looks like, you guys. Oh my goodness. It is finally finished. And I want you to just look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to sit it in here. And I did um, taste it while it was uh, cooking. I had to uh, change the, uh, the dish because it was just too much. And um, so while I was changing the dish, I did cook it. Now, one thing I will say is this. Um, and I also made a little salad on the side. I made a side salad. And uh, this is dinner. For a while. <laughs> but let me just say this. Uh, my gut feeling told me to go ahead and cook the noodles at least for five minutes. And I did not do that. I did not cook the noodles. I should have. My gut feeling told me to do that and I did not. And um, I'm just going to put it so you can really see it. And so it took 
a long time. But I can assure you that the noodles are done now. But it took too long. Um, where this deal, this meal should have only taken about 50 minutes. It took much way too long because I did not, because of the, the recipe said to uh, not cook the noodles. Hey, I grew up cooking noodles, even when you're making a dish like this. So I will not do that again. The next time I will pre-cook my noodles if it's nothing but about five minutes just to get them a little bit al dente. And, um, but you do as you please. But let me just tell you, this is absolutely beautiful. So here is the dish. Here is the dish. It's a little too hot for me. And uh, as you can see, that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay? And as I stated, I just went ahead and I made a side salad to go along with it. Just a regular side salad. And I have some Olive Garden, uh, I have some Olive Garden um, dressing, and that's what it's gonna be for dinner. Salad and pasta. So, thank you so much for tuning in to Empowering Moments with Velvet. As I, I believe I said it earlier, I'm a little late to the party. Uh, wasn't able to uh, do this on yesterday for various reasons. However, um, hey guys, please let me in. <laughs> thank you, Wani. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much for inviting us to do this, and I hope you enjoy this meal. Thank you so much, and be blessed.